Jaya! Why brother love is so important? You know, we are talking a lot about brotherhood these days. I don't know about you, but I'm in a place here where we are consciously creating brotherhood. We are consciously creating male bonding experiences that have to do with anchoring our authenticity, our truth, and relating to each other from a place of, you know, in identifying the, the codes of relating, identifying the codes of how to be an empowering uh, set of forces for each other. And so, you know, the reason why I'm recording this video is to tell you how important this is. We're not talking about having sexual exchanges with men. If you are gay, you know, if you like that, that's great, but that's not what I'm talking about. When I'm talking about love, it's a heart opening, expansive expansion. And some of this, you know, can be in the form of sensuality or it can be in the form of sex, but I'm talking about something that has to do with ways of positioning ourselves as men on this planet, diving into new ways of relating that change the way you interact with your environment. See, what tends to happen is that if you arrive in a field, you are in a field of unified consciousness, right? You are in a tribe, for instance, in a village or in a town, you are going to spend lots of time and energy sustaining conflicts, you know, sustaining tension, sustaining friction. And in the process of doing that, it's like you are wasting just lots of time. Anytime there is a wall between two people, it's energy that is not circulating. And so in the process of doing that, for instance, if you are in an organization, you know, in a business and you're trying to run a business and there's tension between two people, that's going to stop the flow of creative power and energy. It's not always like that, of course, because sometimes being in rivalry or in competition is something that is stimulating, right? It can be the case as well. But what I'm talking about is like building a field of energetic resonance, creating safety with brothers, creating connection, creating authenticity, creating vulnerability, creating a space where we are dynamically expanding each other's experience. And so this is what I invite you to check out today. If you are women, you know, you can watch this video and simply bring that to your brothers. But if you are men, really consider and see, experience, witness how you are relating to other men. Is your heart open? Is it receptive? Are you engaging? Are you from a place of owning your power and facing each other really in truth and power? Or are you hiding back? Is there a belief inside of you that goes like, I cannot really trust these guys. I cannot relate to them. I don't know how to engage. I don't know how to play. I don't know how to be in a man's presence and feel empowered by that. And a lot of that, of course, has to do with how you have been relating to your father, you know, in your childhood, how you're relating to your father today. How are you relating to other males in your field? Are you very protective? Are you very shut down? Are you open? Are you creating this field of resonance where other men coming in your field are being agents for your expansion and for your truth? So within the tantric field that I'm, you know, that I'm teaching, the vital tantra system, brotherhood is an essential part of your expansion. You know, suppose that you're in a space where you're not interacting with females, with women, and it's mainly men, you want to use that context as a field to expand your, exp your, you know, your experience, and expand your consciousness. And so some of the things that are really core in that is identify the core, what I call brotherhood codes. What are the brotherhood codes? What are the values that you want to anchor in the way you're relating to men that are really going to expand your being? And so those codes are conscious choices. They are conscious ways of positioning yourself. You know, it can be authenticity, it can be truth, it can be, most of it is just presence. It's just power, it's embodiment. How do you relate to each other when there are women around? Is there rivalry kicking in? Is there competition? What if you have a common lover, a common past lover, you know? What if you are in rivalry or in competition for, you know, projects or mission? or something that you are doing that, that requires you to be in competition with each other. What are the terms of this competition? How do you relate to each other? So all these things, you know, we can go into the concepts and the mentalizing of all that, but first it is an intention. It's something that you want to set up in your system and realize, okay, there is something there that can be really precious. And the moment two men or a tribe of men enter into deep resonance together, lots of magic kicks in, I can tell you. 
my experience is powerful and it's really uplifting and it's expansive. I love you. I'll see you soon.